am I the butthole for not granting my father-in-law's dying wish of getting my son baptized? Posted by Kim City 8. My father-in-law is currently dying in the hospital. Yesterday, he told my wife that he wanted to see our two son be baptized before he dies. My wife and I had previously decided that our son would not be baptized. We wanted him to have the opportunity as an adult to decide his own religion and whether he wants to be baptized. I grew up in a non-religious house and I'm not a religious person. I would even consider myself pretty strongly anti-religion. My wife grew up Catholic but no longer considers herself one which she has not discussed with either of her parents. She does not want to let her parents down and wants to get our son baptized now. I have stayed firm that there is no way this is happening. I feel like my wife is putting her family before me when it comes to decisions regarding our child. On the other hand, I feel like I may be the butthole for not just letting my son get his hair wet to appease a dying man. What do you think of all of this? Let me know of your thoughts in the comments below. And now to the comments. Reddit DK War likes to add. Not the butthole. This is a decision for parents, not grandparents. Spiky Miss likes to add. Not the butthole. In my opinion, your father-in-law is using guilt and manipulation to get what he wants. He has almost succeeded by making your wife feel guilty enough that she's prepared to ignore the decision you made as family. Comfortable code 6350, one likes to add. Not the Bartol, as a raised Catholic, I hate that I was baptized as my family says it because of being baptized. I am forever Catholic when I am not religious at all. It pisses me off so much cause it wasn't a decision I made. I tell them time and time again that I am not Catholic and they don't care what I say because in God's eyes you are no. I hate it. Stand your ground. Your son will later thank you. A comment from BR Dr. Mueller. You're not the butthole, but you should also step back and look at what is happening. I was baptized, but I ended up as an atheist. Being baptized was literally just being dunked in water. I was too young to remember and don't care that it happened. I think if it keeps a peace in the house, you should probably just let them do it. But if this is a really important conviction for you, then you should have a serious talk with your wife about why you are so opposed to it. If you are very anti-religion, then it makes sense that you are against it. But if you are neutral and don't care about it one way or the other, then your son being baptized won't impact you. The lovebirds commented. Not the butthole. You and your wife decided what was morally right for your family. You are not obligated to have sacred religious rites performed on your child simply because a dying uncle is guilt-tripping your wife. Stick to your guns. Experiment 6226 commented. Not the butthole. It's a little more than getting his hair wet. It's bringing him into an entire institution. And that institution is powerful enough to make your wife change her mind. You should definitely tell him no. This feels so incredibly manipulative of your father-in-law. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For refusing to stop doxing for my ex. Posted by Evie Huntress. I have been dating Mark for five months. Prior to meeting Mark, I was in a casual relationship with John and developed a bond with his senior dog, Luna. Though I stopped seeing John more than a month before meeting Mark, I still dog sit for Luna if I am available when John goes out of town. Luna can be boarded, but it's very stressful for her because she does not get along with other dogs and I enjoy spending time with her, it's good easy money, and John appreciates it. John does not have a couch or guest bed so I sleep in his bed when I dox it. John and I don't see or talk to each other except about Luna. Because I had a casual relationship with John, Mark is upset that I continue to watch Luna now that he and I are dating. I am currently dogsing her for a week and a half and this is the second time I've watched her since we started dating. He feels disrespected because I won't leave Luna alone overnight to stay with him and because I sleep in John's bed. I can't bring Luna to his house because he has a dog. I am having a hard time understanding why he feels so angry and hurt that I won't stop watching Luna, and I view it more as jealousy and ego that he needs to deal with. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Through a win billion, 551,155,000. 115 commented. Well, you gotta look at it like this. If Mark was watching his ex dog and was sleeping in her bed while she was away instead of spending time with you, how would you like it? 
I get some people don't see it negatively, but not many people are okay with the significant other spending any time with an ex, let alone staying at their house and sleeping in their bed. So Bethim commented. Info, would you rather spend time with the dog or with Mark? How often is this happening? You don't mention anything about your feelings for Mark, how serious you two are, how much time you spend together. It comes across as your feelings and relationship not being serious. Which is fine, though it seems like Mark feels more serious. If I was in a new relationship like this, and my partner frequently chose to dog sit over me, it would probably be time to have a conversation about your relationship being more casual than he thinks. OP answered. I see Mark almost every day. I just don't sleep at his house when I am dog sitting. This is the second time I've watched Luna and the first time was a three-day weekend. John asked me to watch her for Memorial Day but I declined because I had plans with Mark. Ditto Head Forever likes to add. You're not the butthole. He feels disrespected because I would leave Luna alone overnight to stay with him. He feels as if he is not in control because you are doing what you feel is right. It's not like John is there when you are. It's as though you and Mark are married or even live together. He needs to get a grip. Yes, the maybe 123 likes to add. Do the butthole I am having a hard time understanding why you feel so angry and hurt that I would stop watching Luna. John does not have a couch or guest bed so I sleep in his bed so you sleep in your ex's bed where you've shared intimate moments and you don't understand. E likes to add. You the butthole would you be happy if he was going to his ex GFS house and sleeping in her bed? Most people I know wouldn't be okay with that sort of thing. Different people have differing levels of possessiveness and different levels of comfort with this sort of interaction. But if you're in a relationship with implied exclusivity, this is something you should have worked out beforehand. Check out our playlist that summarize all posts of a specific topic. You can find them in the description box. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For doing the shopping faster than my wife? Posted by Boring Tomorrow 8045. A 44 male have been married to my wife 34 female for 4 years and we have a son 3 male and a daughter 18 months. I now work in tech 4 days from home and go to the office 1 day while my wife does not currently work and is a stay at home mother. My work from home career only started when the pandemic began so before we got married and when we were dating and cohabiting I never did much major grocery shopping apart from picking small stuff up on the way home as my wife worked less hours than me and did it instead. When I started working from home I noticed that my wife would take a very long time to do the weekly shop. I am talking a good hour and a half just to buy like the weekly groceries. The store is only 5 minutes away and she usually goes just before lunch so it's not too busy. I think that she is running into friends from her mom's groups and chatting and losing track of time. She denies this of course but every time she goes out shopping and comes back she always has some new gossip about what is happening in the neighborhood. To be clear. I am not upset or angry if she takes this long to go do the shopping. It's good for her if she can meet friends while shopping. But she keeps telling me that she takes this long because she's checking which stuff is on sale, which stuff can be skipped for now, which stuff can store etc. Yesterday was the day my wife usually goes for the weekly shop but I told her that I would handle it. I went and did the shop and came back in half the time she normally takes. When she was helping me unpack the groceries she wasn't too happy with what I bought. I told her that I did in half the time she usually does and that I still can't see why she takes so long to do it. She then started telling me that I did a poor job and didn't buy what she wanted and that I was trying to undermine her. I said that I did the shopping not for her but for the family. She said that I was in butthole. And now to the comments. Frido Nielsen commented. Yuan, why do you actually need to prove this point? How neurotic are you? Yeah, my husband can do the weekly shop in 15 minutes. He does not buy one slash two of what we need and ends up paying twice as much anyway because he pays no attention to what's on sale. What similar but cheaper substitutions can be made. What the sugar content of anything is. What snacks child will need not just for home but for kinder. He is not meal planning as he goes to ensure there's enough for six days. And so on. The difference is that. He does not insist he is better or faster. He fully acknowledges he sucks at shopping because he is impatient and. See so is grateful that I do it. Again. Why does this point need to be proven like your Einstein on the verge of the greatest discovery? Let her be. Jesus Christ. Sirocot likes to add. You the butthole. As a stay-at-home mother, your wife puts a lot of effort on what she is buying, what's on sale, how to save more money. Not you were only concerned on saving time, which is not a bad thing, but can't be used as an argument if I do it better than you that you used after she said you didn't buy some stuff she asked. 
It sounds like a stop complaining card that does not really apply to the situation. A little a whole move. Soft like sparkles likes to add. I'm talking a good hour and a half just to buy like the weekly groceries. For a four person family, that's not long at all. I went and did the shop and came back in half the time she normally takes. It does not count because you didn't follow her list and obviously we're just trying to prove a point so you cut corners and speed shopped. You claim you're not upset about it, but your actions contradict that. Your nitpicking comes off as not appreciating or understanding that being a stay-at-home mother is as much a job as your tech job. You the butthole. A comment from Mysterious Salt 247 What's wrong with you? Seriously. Your wife manages the household and I assume takes on the entire mental load. She runs the kitchen and she buys what she does for a reason. Do you think she's stupid? Seriously. Do you think your wife is a stupid person who does not know how to buy food? Realistic bit 6965 likes to add. You the butthole, why does it even matter that it takes her 1.5 hours? Why does it matter if she runs into someone and talks for a minute? This is so odd, why are you micromanaging her time like this? I take forever because I go down every aisle I like to get ideas and check out sales. I'll bring out my phone and check prices at different stores. Putting time and effort into picking out the food you feed your loved ones is not something to be judged for. Raven 3131 commented. You the bad hole. Obviously you didn't get what was needed for the week. The success of a grocery shop is not how quickly you do it, it's what you buy and what meals you can make with all the ingredients instead of random things and what's on sale to save money. You assume she takes longer because she's talking to friends, but she may actually be spending time mentally planning meals around the sale items. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For not telling my friends my party won't have alcohol. Posted by Purple Guidance to 366. At 25 I've recently had a birthday. I usually don't celebrate it, but 25 felt special. I work evenings, so I invited about 15 friends over for a Saturday afternoon 12 minus 5-ish. Now, I don't drink, I can't mix my meds with alcohol. My friends know this. I baked a cake, bought some candy, made nachos, bought some chips and bought an assortment of souls I know my friends like. I also set some games to play in groups, Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros, some board games so there's something to do. I invited my friends and let them know it's just an informal get-together to chill. They all seemed excited. But they seemed disappointed when they got there and there wasn't any alcohol. Some were even upset. And one of them texted me after to tell me how rude it was to not let them know beforehand. He hasn't spoken to me since. Now, I don't drink. It's not something I considered to need for a get-together. I didn't even think of it. But several of my friends were upset, with one of them being downright angry. Am I the butthole? Edited to add, I guess to my friend's party equals alcohol, so they were expecting it. I honestly didn't think anyone would want to drink in the early afternoon, I fully associate alcohol with the evening. If I knew they wanted it, I would have let them know beforehand. Edited to, we hang out in the afternoon often, there's usually no alcohol then. And now to the comments. The translator minus 6,856 likes to add Not the butthole. This culture of needing alcohol to celebrate someone else's special moments with them is bonkers. Solid Corden likes to add Not the butthole did you prohibit them from bringing alcohol. One of them being downright angry. Someone got angry because you did not provide them with alcohol. If any of them did, did you say you can't drink that? Not the butthole for not providing alcohol for them, but telling them to bring their own beer would have been polite. Did any of them get angry that you didn't provide cocaine? I mean, it's a party. Slash S. OP replied to that. I didn't, and I would have been fine with it if they did. I just forgot to mention it. In my mind, alcohol is an after 5 pm thing. I didn't think anyone would miss it at noon. A comment from Really Kimon. I find this really odd. I'm 32, but when my friends host parties or BBQS or anything, you generally bring something to contribute. That's often a six pack of beer, but it could also be some chips or finger food. I'm seems weird to me that they all expected alcohol, but didn't bring any. I guess it's just different ages slash cultures. Also not the butthole though. Sadie commented. Not the butthole. They know you don't drink, of course, there would not be alcohol. Expecting alcohol at your place would be like going to a vegetarian's expecting meat and it was beyond rude for anyone to witch about it. Pregnant Pona 70 commented. 
Not the butthole, it's your party, you don't want to have it around. Having a little tantrum indicates they only value you for free drinks. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For outshining my husband at his birthday party by announcing my pregnancy. Posted by Lena F 155. The title says most of it. It went to four found out a day before my husband's 29th birthday that we're expecting our first baby. I wanted to make it special for him so I decided to tell him that next day. He does not really like to celebrate his birthdays but this year his family is moving abroad so we decided to throw a party where all close family and friends can gather before they move away. All of them were the people whom I knew were going to be really happy by this news. So I decided to announce it in front of everyone. My husband was of course the happiest one, but after that the rest of the party was all about me and the baby. Some even forgot to wish him because they were busy congratulating me. I kinda felt bad for taking the attention away from him, but he didn't even seem to mind it. Later that day, his best friend came to me when I was in the kitchen just to say that it was very selfish of me to announce my news when it was my partner's day. He said that my partner does not even celebrate his birthdays and now that he decided to celebrate one, I shouldn't have made it all about myself. He even accused me of doing it on purpose because according to him I cannot stand it when all attention is not me. I decided not to argue with him because he has never liked me but I can't help feeling awful for taking all the attention away from him. He has not hinted that he is upset at this and I have not told him yet what his friend said. Edit. Afterwards, husband told me it was the best gift he received and it made his day even more special. However, he did not mention anything about announcing it in front of our families or not telling him first in private. We are a very closely knitted family and I believe telling them this soon shouldn't be an issue. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Automatic Doors commented. Softy the butthole, even though he was cool with the announcing it at his birthday, it's best to give your partner news like that first rather than telling his whole family and his friends all at once. Orange Queen H commented. First and foremost, congratulations. Let being out of the way, consider this. People who rarely celebrate their birthday usually do so because the past experiences were not that thrilling, often to a point where it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. My birthday will not be special and not be about me anyways, so they do nothing, and it becomes not special and not about them anyways. So now, after years, finally a big party happens and everybody is there to celebrate you with you. It's finally happening. Yeah. Oh, wait. Someone found a way to make it not about you yet again. Or if these are not special and not about you once again. Sorry to say, but I agree with the best friend. You could have waited. You could have told him alone and made it his decision whether to tell everyone or not. But instead, you took the stage. You the butthole a soft one because who does not get carried away by good new ones every while. OP answered. Hi, thanks a lot. I totally understand your point and you are very right. I should have thought more before doing it. And now I really regret it all. I owe him an apology. A comment from Spetrosa. If he does not like celebrating his birthday, he might appreciate that you took the attention off of him. Only he can answer that. But, why would you announce it to friends and family before talking to him in private? That deserves you the butthole. Whether you're in butthole for taking attention away from him is something only he gets to decide. Shitty DJS likes to add, You the butthole. Your husband should have been told privately before making it public. A comment from Wandering Storm. You the butthole where you don't make someone else's special day or celebration about you and that's what you did. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For going to my best friend's wedding two weeks after my girlfriend gives birth. Posted by Next Girl 8614. I am a groomsman at my best friend's wedding that has been planned for over a year. I currently live in Australia with my GF, but I'm originally from New Zealand. My GF is expected to give birth in late January and my best friend's wedding is February 14th. I was planning on travelling to New Zealand for our flight for three days to attend the wedding, but my girlfriend insists I shouldn't go as it is too soon and she needs my support. Am I wrong for leaving my girlfriend and child so soon after giving birth even though my mother-in-law will be living with her and will be able to look after her while I am away? And now to the comments. In GDG Unpunished commented, I think you are in denial of the impact a newborn is going to have on your GF, your household and you. You should bow out of the wedding party. You would be the butthole if you insisted on going. P.S. Random commented. Wedding that has been planned for over a year. Then you should have thought about it before impregnating your GF. Now that your GF has clearly stated her wish, you should stay back and help her. 
you the butthole. Crystal Queen 3000 commented. You the butthole, you're her partner and she's going to physically hurt him, permanently exhaust it, and more importantly, she's asking you to stay because she knows she'll need your help and support. This isn't a few months after, it's 14 days, and if she becomes overdue then you can reduce that time. Imagine pushing a watermelon through your dick and then having to use your body to feed it while still in agony. Would you be okay with your partner leaving you? A comment from Outrageously Penguin. You the butthole, majorly. That you're even considering this tells me you've done shockingly little research in preparation for this baby and either haven't been attending prenatal visits or paying attention if you have. First of all, babies are not born on the exact due date. There's a decent chance the baby will have been just born by February 14th. And even if the baby does come on time, your girlfriend's body will be in recovery. She and baby may still be in the hospital. If she has a C-section, she would be recovering from major surgery while caring for a newborn. It's also a crucial time for bonding, which is the baby's father you should care about. Get it together and start thinking like a father, because you are very far off from that point right now. A comment from Cinematic Heart. You the butthole. That's too far to go and too soon after she has given birth and that's if she gives birth on her due date. I know women who have had the baby a week past the due date. A comment from Acceptable Type 520. You the butthole. You need to graciously decline your wedding party spot and get ready for being a father. Start reading parenting boards, practice with friends, babies, watch YouTube videos. Be as prepared for baby as you can. The first week's home with a newborn is actual insanity. There is a new human living in your house that you barely know. There's poop, pee, vomit, and potentially blood everywhere. Time does not exist. Her nipples may be raw and blistered. When she tries to poop, it may feel like she's pooping out a strand of razor wire that is kinda stuck. True story. Your GF will need your support 100%. Also, you will want to be next to your baby and GF the entire time. Having a newborn is like a piece of your heart is outside your body and is laying on your chest. You would be miserable at wedding separated from your baby anyway, trust me. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. I wish you a great day.